Hello everyone, welcome to your very own YouTube channel and this is Dr. Nikita, your, your mentor, educator and friend. So in this video, I am going to talk about some tips that will help the FMG students in their examination hall. So the first thing that I would like to say is go to the examination hall with full faith that you are going to do well. You've put in a lot of efforts and your hard work is going to pay off. So do not ruin all the hard work that you have done so far by getting tense or getting anxious. Go with a relaxed mind. I know this exam is very very important for you but at the same time remember this is not like, like the last exam. You are going to have other opportunities as well. So God forward if you do not do well you will have other opportunity very soon. So the more relaxed you go to the examination hall the better you will perform. And the best part is here you do not have to target like on a very very high score even if it's 150 out of 300 you'll be able to clear the exam. So if you counter questions in the exam which you are not able to answer remember that you have the margin of making 150 questions incorrect. So uh, uh, do not get panicked if you make any question wrong or if you are not able to answer any question. For questions which are new Use the cheat codes that I've always been sharing with all of you in my sessions like ruling out the options or odd men out. The various cheat codes that I've shared for you. You can also watch my video that is cheat codes to crack the NEET PG exam that will be applicable to you as well. So what cheat codes can help you to score more? The uh, other thing that you should remember is do not spend too much time on any question. We, uh, trust your instinct. Whatever answer comes to your mind the first, that is generally the right answer. If you overthink, that is when we tend to make mistakes. So remember that as well. And then do not make silly mistakes. Do not uh, waste your marks by making silly mistakes like not reading the question carefully, missing reading the except part, not reading the not mentioned in the question. So do not read any question with a bias like this is a question that I have read before. Read every question like it is a new question so that will decrease your silly mistakes. So those were some tips that I wanted to share with all of you and I do hope that all of you do well in your exams and I wish all of you all the very best waiting to hear from all of you post exam. Thank you so much and see you.